Hey, what's up guys? Phil here with Transfer Superstars. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to heat press our DTF transfers on this FlexFit 5001 hat. It's a silver patch hat. Very, very popular. One of the most popular in the market. It does come in two sizes. This one's a bit tight for me. Here's the pizza. Oh, here you can have it, Eddie. I'm gonna show you both of these sizes, how we heat press both of these guys. But first, I'm gonna have some pizza and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the video. So I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna be doing here. Again, the FlexFit comes with two sizes. This is gonna be the small medium. It also has the large and the extra large. And as a bonus, what we're gonna be doing is we're also gonna be pressing on this sweat hat. So the customer ha has a lot of employees that work on the outdoors. They sweat profusely. And they've mentioned to me that the FlexFit hat doesn't absorb a lot of sweat very well. So they wanted to try something that's not only breathable, but something that's washable. So we're gonna give this hat a try here. It is a one size fit all or most, but it is 100% polyester, so it's very stretchy. I'm gonna try this hat on. It fits pretty well, but there's also an adjustable strap in case you wanna adjust for further cushion. Now going back to the flex fit, since this is the main hat that we're gonna be working on here, it is a six panel hat. It's 98% cotton, 2% spandex, so it doesn't have a lot of stretch. But again, it comes in two sizes. It also has a sweat band that comes across. And the printable areas here is gonna be the front. You have the front corners, you have the side of the hat, and then you have the rear of the hat. So what we're gonna be pressing on is gonna be the front right corner. Now some of the things I'm gonna be using for this project here is gonna be of course our Hotronics hat press. I love this digital hat press, it's digital. It has a dual heat platen. Um, even though this project we're only gonna be using the top heat platen because turning on the bottom heat platen is gonna to be too hot for, our, for these transfers. So again, the top platen and only gonna be heat pressing for seven seconds and we're gonna be pressing at very hard extra pressure. Some of the materials that we're gonna be using is also gonna be a microfiber towel. We're also gonna be using a Stahl's silicone sheet. This is great to give a nice textured finish. I'll drop a link below in case you guys are interested in this. I'm also gonna be using a lint roller in case there's gonna be extra lint. This is nice because it's reusable, it's washable. You can get it on Amazon, I'll drop a link below. We're also gonna be using heat resistant tape. So this is great to use on any type of heat press where you wanna keep the transfer in place. And of course, our hot peel transfers. We'll drop a link below for you guys so yeah, you guys can order this easily. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. Let's go ahead and start with the small and medium. I have my heat press set at 275. I'm gonna go ahead and release the lever so that I can fit the hat inside. I'm also gonna be moving the bill to the end of the hat press here, releasing this so that it keeps it nice and snug. Another thing that we created is gonna be a little template that we use blue tape on. I love blue tape because it doesn't leave any residue and I can reuse it over and over again. And it allows me to have great accuracy so I can do this from the first to the hundredth hat and it'll still be aligned perfectly. So let's go ahead and lay this down. Again, I have this laid out on top of the hat. Here are my transfers. I'm gonna be using the heat resistant tape. When the sides are taped down, I'm gonna go ahead and come back to the hat. I'm gonna go ahead and line it up right in the middle of the tape. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the blue tape template. I'm gonna go ahead and press for seven seconds. We're gonna be using our microfiber cloth, just rubbing down the transfer. And peel. And for this particular hat, I'm not gonna do the double press. I'll show you guys the difference between using this and using the Stahl's silicone paper or silicone sheet. So we'll press the second hat. One thing I did forget to mention is make sure you guys are removing the cardboard insert. Set the hat, 
set the template. Right in the center, lay it down, remove the template. Quick rub down. Go to go ahead and peel. Now again, the difference here is I'm gonna use the silicone paper, the silicone sheet. I'm gonna place it ab above it, in between. Hold it tight so it's nice and not creased. Press it again for seven seconds. Again, I have this set at high, high pressure. And it's gonna create a screen printed finish which is a nice textured finish that a lot of people like. The last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna heat press this head sweat, very stretchy material. Since this is actually a little bit shorter than the other hats, I'm actually just going to go ahead and eyeball this. I think it's gonna be a better finish. For the second press, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same film, flip it around. I don't need the texture on this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press. There you go. So there you have it guys, I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, I hope you guys learn our techniques on how we get this done. We recommend always starting with a lower press time and lower temperature and then increase it if you have to. We love these hats, both of them work really well for what we're trying to do. If you guys are interested in the caps, make sure you guys visit the description below, we'll drop a link. We got this from Alfred Broder. Another quick tip, if you guys are purchasing from Alfred Broder, there's free shipping for orders over $150, so make sure you guys take advantage of that. Again, thanks for checking this out. I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next one.